If you oh, could gosh. use one, one word to describe this year, what word would you use? That's a good question. Definitely not. I, <laughs> <laughs> um, I think from the group as a whole, I'd just say, like, mentality. Um, obviously, the first half of the season wasn't what we wanted, but I think the girls just, like, pushed through and had the mentality to get them through. And then the second half of the season, obviously, we made some changes, made some, you know, differences in our – we had a second preseason. We had all those things. So our mentality kind of shifts from – getting through it to like succeeding through it so I'd say mentality is one word that comes to mind for the group and your shirt says upbeat so that's and kind it, of and kind it of does your, your mentality <laughs> is an, an up, upbeat mentality upbeat mentality yeah just like kind of positive through it all and then once things started to kind of go our way a little bit then like turning on that competitive mentality that like we want to be top of the league like we want to be a team that competes so and, and certainly that yeah. can't be easy obviously with, yeah. with what the team went through and, and obviously we saw you know some players having to take breaks for, yeah. for mental health issues um, and, and come back and, and stuff like that. So as you guys went through that, I guess, what was that like to deal with some possibly, you know, emotional mental yeah. issues through a season like this? Yeah, I think any NWSL season has its ups and downs. I haven't had one yet that's been completely smooth sailing, but we just wanted to support each other and make sure that everyone was able to take the time that they needed, whether that be a mental health leave or just you know, in the locker room if they needed a sec, just things like that. Supporting your teammates is so important, and I just, you know, tried to be there for them in any capacity, and sometimes I needed them to be there for me. So just, like, having a shoulder to lean on through it all. Um, but, yeah, I don't think there's ever going to be an NWSL season where you don't have things like that, but um, I think we're on the right track, and hopefully next year it's a little bit smoother sailing. I'll get ahead of Sean on this one. Since you are one of the Iron Women now, are you? Do, have you been reached out to to be featured on the off season <laughs> reality show? I've heard that some people were asking about this. I haven't. I, maybe I should check my spam ma email. I don't know. Um, no, I don't know if that's. I don't know if reality TV is in my future. I don't really see myself there. But it is cool what they're doing with that. Um, have you been watching any of the? I just found out about it today. You just so, found out. Yeah. Has anyone been watching? Yeah. Shut up. I haven't watched like the latest episode, but. Well, I mostly watched because I, I wanted to see yeah. Evie. Yeah, yeah. I oh, yeah. I, I mean, I know a bunch of those girls, obviously, True. so it's cool to see them, and I'm happy for them for that. Yeah. There, there so. is a real, uh, real Housewives here in Salt Lake City. I have That's heard true. about that. Yeah. And, like, the Secret Wives of Mormon yeah. Wives. Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys seen that Great show? Great show. Yeah. I'm like, whoa, a lot of reality TV yeah. happening. Yeah. Yeah. Not for, for sure. me, not for me, but... <laughs> Well, what does the off season kind of look like for you? You've been yeah. through it a couple of times, and now yeah. you, you've kind of tweaked it here and there. Yeah. Since you were a rookie last in your time, everything. So, what does kind of the off season yeah. look like for you? That's a good question. I think I try to keep my routine pretty similar, but I will take some time off. Um, training right now for a little bit, but then come end of November, I'll take some time off, and then you know ramp back up in December and get ready for preseason. Um, but I just like to spend time with family. Um, do things that, you know, fill my bucket, my family, my dogs, my friends, see all of them, and just kind of relax and take that time to myself. You've played so much this year that I feel like we haven't seen you outside of Kate Del Palo's soccer player. Yeah, that's uh, fair. What does non-soccer player KDF look like? Wow. I don't know if I'm ever non-soccer player KDF, you know. Um, I'm always, if I'm not playing, I'm watching, you know, Liverpool on the weekends. I'm a massive Liverpool fan. Or I was watching, you know, RSL when they were playing, or I'll watch the NWSL playoffs. So, but I think just spending a lot of time with my family, my friends, they bring me back down to earth. They, they keep me grounded. So I get to see some friends. I'll go home in the offseason and be in, like, the Chicago, Wisconsin area. So I'll get to see a lot of my good friends, my parents, my siblings, you know, spend time with family. So. Is home still Kenosha? Home, home is still Kenosha, okay. yeah. My parents are still living there. I hope to see an updated Animal Hospital video. Oh, that's in not going to happen. <laughs> um, I got to delete that. I can't You that. said that a long time ago. I know. I don't think I have access to the email anymore. So I don't, I think I need to report it. That's what I need to do. I'm going to go do that. Oh, I'm so reporting funny. that for sure. So it's been mentioned, Iron Woman needs to be mentioned yes. every single time one of us speaks. Oh, but gosh. I think my math's correct. Over 2,500 minutes if you include um, the La Liga MX. And oh, yeah. How is the body feeling? Yeah. That's a lot. It is. It is. Obviously, it's a little different playing center back versus playing outside back mm -hmm. from the last couple of years that I played outside back. Even I played outside back on Friday, and my hamstrings were shot to pieces from all the high-speed running that you don't do really – you don't necessarily do like that, you know, up and down. So my body has been okay, honestly. I've been 
trying to stay really adamant about recovery in the in the season and you know the medical staff and the performance staff has helped and they knew that that was a goal of mine for the whole season so we kind of just were always you know hitting on the points am I recovering am I doing everything that I need to do but I think when the time comes to take some time off my body will be grateful for that yeah last one for me but Mandy when she was in here a few minutes ago she talked about the cohesion of this team that she's never felt closer with a squad and I hope you don't shoot her down and say you don't yeah, feel like, the same. Well, I don't but, agree. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> but yeah, how does it? How's the the vibe with the squad yeah. at this? You know, this stage. Yeah, we have such a good group of girls, and I think I know people have talked about like obviously we talked about the first half of our season, but if we didn't have the group that we had, I don't think we'd come out of it liking each other or cohesive or you know excited about next year. Um, but yeah, some of my, I mean, I feel like I've known these girls forever, and I've only known them for nine months or whatever it's how long is it been 10 months, Ten months. Mm-hmm. 11 months 11 ish now since yeah, oh January. gosh okay 11 months Can't it's been a year it's been a year <laughs> <laughs> but um i feel like i've known them for a lot longer so yeah definitely we have a great group and i'm excited to see you know what next year looks like thank you good uh how do you feel about being part of an expansion team for the second time in your career yeah. i think how it was the yeah. pros and cons yeah um you know it's it's a process i think um but having experienced it once, I knew it wasn't going to be, we, ju- we come in in January and it's all, you know, perfect and um, smooth sailing. So I think just having that patience, having that experience, being able to share that with the other girls, kind of knowing that like, it, things might not look perfect right now, but just give them the time. And I think that they're doing the right things. And I think that they've proven that with some of the moves they've made, you know, the investment they put into the team this year. So I think, although it wasn't exactly what we wanted at the beginning, it, I think it's worth it when you get to see, like, wow, we really built this team this year, and we got to, you know, kind of handpick what we wanted out of it. So I think that's a really cool experience. Thank you. Beautiful. Thanks, Kate. Thanks, guys. Thank you.